Hey guys, it's this time of the month again. We are doing March beauty favorites today. I feel I haven't sit down and talk to you guys for a long time. The new home is just effing noisy all the time. There's all those trash trucks playing very loud music and it's just very hard to film a talking video. Today when I sit down to start filming and I realize as long as the ring light is on, then my microphone will make this very very big noise. So right now I'm filming with no microphone and it's just it's just very hard to film right now. I don't know. It just feels like nothing works. I'm really just still working on it. So at the meantime, just bear with me. Anyway, enough for the super long intro. I have quite a lot of things to share with you guys today. So let's just jump right into it. I realized I almost never talk about the makeup brushes I like on my channel. This is the F80 Kabuki brush from Sigma. If you have watch even just a few of my makeup videos or get ready with me then you will see that this is the only foundation brush I use it's just a very dense type of brush and it's super soft all kind of foundation whether it's liquid or gel um, they, it applies them all perfectly if you scroll down to the description box of this video then you will see I put a link to Sigma website and also a link to this brush so those are affiliate links I have recently become an affiliate partner with Sigma this is my very first kind of business opportunity business partnership on my channel so I want to make sure to do it right not so much with the company but with you guys because the only reason and only purpose I open this channel is to share and find other people who are passionate in makeup as I do so my view on those sort of things are actually very very simple for me those cosmetics and those brands they are created by humans human by nature are not perfect so of course all the brands out there they don't make perfect products there's always some hit and miss that's why I, I just think we can be all very open and honest about those things because even the brand I'm working with, they make some really good products and I will recommend to you guys. And the products that I don't like them, then I will not recommend to you guys and I will tell you why I don't think they are worth buying or why they don't work for me. I just want you guys to know even if from now on I am a affiliator with Sigma, but I will just still always be 100% with you guys. and. That's really very important to me, so I really want to push that idea into your mind. Besides Sigma, another makeup brush brand that I personally really enjoy is Real Techniques. They are much more affordable compared with Sigma, and again, if you have watched just a few of my makeup video or get ready with me, then you will see that I use a lot of lot of Real Techniques uh, makeup brushes. This one is their buffing brush. I just use it to do everything. I use it to set my whole face with the setting powder, and I also use it to sometimes apply bronzer to uh, bronze all over my face and I also use it to apply blush I really like it, it's very fluffy and very... I think it's a perfect size to apply powder products so you know, do, 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 it's really good another brush from Real Techniques that I really enjoy is their contour brush but I don't really use it to contour just because I don't contour on a daily basis but I think it's a perfect brush to apply highlighter I just think it's very... I don't know, as you can see, I just think the size is really good to apply on the cheekbones and sometimes I also use it to uh, set my under eye concealer I think it's also a very good size I also want to get one more because right now I use it to do my highlighter and sometimes I forgot to wash it and then I use it to set my under eye concealer and then there's just sparkles everywhere on my under eye area Now moving on to makeup the first thing I want to share today is from Maybelline. This is their Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. This product, many people either love it or many people think it does nothing. But uh, I'm one of those persons who really love it. Of course, that's why I mentioned it. The feature of this product, of course, is to uh, blur out your pores. On me personally, I do think it does slightly soften down the look of pores. But what I really like about this product is that I think it really give my skin a very smooth and soft base which 
it's perfect to apply foundation afterwards and I really think that it also prolongs a little bit my makeup wear time when I use this primer I feel that it makes me uh, touch up a little bit less and that being said although it makes my skin less greasy but um, at the same time it doesn't make my skin look flaky, dry or cakey either so I really like it. This is a primer that I almost use every day now and many people compare with the Benefit Professional. I personally don't own that one and I have never tried it as well so I don't really know how they compare but since it's from Maybelline, it's so affordable and I think it really does a good job so I feel this one will be good enough for me. The foundation I've been really loving in the month of March is the NARS uh, Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. It's really more like a BB cream and I think it's perfect for normal to dry skin. Like I say, I have combination skin but for me, as long as I set it with the setting powder after applying it, then I have no problem with it. It is a little bit more moisturizing formula so I don't think it will work that well on all the skin. Usually I will just apply a thin layer and it will just give you a very natural type of look with light coverage and even when you build it up to medium coverage, it still looks like skin, it still looks very natural. My very very top holy grail foundation is the Makeup Forever uh, face and body foundation, but that one is in glass, so it's not so great to travel with, while this one is just uh, very easy to apply, very easy to carry as well. So this is usually what I bring with me when traveling. I think they do come out with a matte version of this. If any of you already tried that one, please tell me if you like it or not because I really like this one. So I saw that one as a sister of this maybe will be great for summertime. Next thing I want to share is the concealer I've been really loving in the months of March. It's the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. And I know you are looking at this thinking that, well, this is not MAC Concealer. But actually inside it is Pro Long Wear Concealer from MAC is in a glass and also it's, it comes with a pump. But that pump is just very hard to use every time you will pump up too much product so there's a lot of products will go to waste so that's why I transfer all those products into this little jar here so that um, every time I can control the amount of products I use a little bit more precisely with the clean finger of course actually I have tried this concealer long long ago at a night counter I just really don't like it at the time because I find it a little bit heavy and very thick now I realize it's just this product you need the least amount you need really to apply very very minimal because as soon as you apply too much then it will really make your under eye look very cakey and it will crease easily but now I just really apply the tiniest amount then it will really just give you a perfect full coverage and of course you will need to set it with the powder then it will just stay in place the whole day and this is what uh, I use to conceal my under eye area today and I just really think it looks beautiful it doesn't make your under eye look too cakey it doesn't accentuate the fine lines and all that so I actually really like this concealer right now a palette I've been really really loving in March is this Tarte Energy Noir palette I'm not going to stay here for too long because I dedicated a whole video on this palette right here just quickly show you inside it looks like this and the only letdown of this palette are those matte shades because they are very hard to blend and all that but after I get used to how to uh, apply those matte shadows then this palette just becomes perfect for me it has this gorgeous blush shade and it's just a perfect color for springtime and a stunning highlighter and you also have your eyeliner shade so this is just perfect for travel as well because uh, it just covers everything you need almost the past month March and also next month April I will be traveling a lot again so for sure I will definitely pack this palette with me next I have a bronzer that I really want to share with you guys this is from e.l.f. this is their sun kissed glow bronzer so it looks like this although the name is warm tan but as you can see I think it's actually quite 
a very neutral tone. It's not too warm, but not too cool or ashy as well. It will complement quite many different skin tones. It has some very, very subtle shimmer. Um, but when you apply on your face, it really just a very beautiful sheen. It doesn't accentuate the pores. And this is also the bronzer that I have on my face today. Um, I will not really recommend to use this to contour since there are some shimmers in it. But I just think it's perfect to use to bronze a little bit all over your face. And it just gives your face a very natural sunkissed type of look. And of course, it's from ELF. So although the packaging is a little bit cheap, but you know for the price it's really very good value and it's just very easy to travel as well so i really like this bronzer and i cannot recommend more next is a holy grail status highlighter that i've been not only loving in march i love it ever since i got it in last christmas it's the laura mercier matte radiance baked powder in 01 highlighter this is a highlighter i have on my cheekbones today inside it looks like this this is just such a cold favorite for many many highlighter junkies out there it's very very intense visible and stunning as you can see it's it's quite intense and it reminds me a little bit of the bomb mary luminizer which is also a cold favorite highlighter for many people but it's really more like a toned down version of it as much as it is very intense but it doesn't accentuate your pores or your skin texture it's intense yet very soft when you put highlighter then it essentially highlights all those little uh, flaws on your face and you worry that a highlighter may emphasize all that then I really think you can try this at the counter you may actually really like it because I think this is just the perfect glow from within um, perfect type of highlighter for almost anyone if you are someone who is also very into highlighting then this is a must you have to get in your collection lastly for the products uh, I don't really want to stay too long here because I just filmed a video uh, sharing all my favorite lip colors for spring. That video is only 5 or 6 minutes and I lip swatched at least 10 lip products in that video. High-end drugstore lipstick, lip glosses, uh, there's something for everyone. If you are interested in what lip colors I've been loving, these days then just check out that video so that's it guys that's all the products i've been loving well not really only in march it's just all the products i've been currently loving and again if you guys have found my recent video a little bit absent-minded or if there's anything a little bit off or you just feel that i'm not 100 percent in my recent videos really the only reason is just the filming condition at this current apartment is not the best we will be moving again later part this year and I'm not going to too much details right now but I will keep you guys updated for sure and next week we are traveling to Japan again for another two weeks I probably will pre-film two or three videos and edit them and post them when I'm there so there should be no videos missing in the following one or two weeks and also when I'm in Japan I will just try to film more videos for you guys after I come back so just stay tuned thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you like my videos and follow me on my Instagram and Twitter I will see you guys very soon bye bye very affordable it's rare techniques Again, if you have watched, you can hear the truck outside.